JV's 24, Day 2, Episode 6. Previously on JV's 24. Legends Paradise and Dark successfully escaped from Z Shadow's house before Aqua Hamzar and Sex Pants Crotch Bastard were able to get to them. In their favor, the two congregate members had no idea where they were heading. When they paid a visit to Alan Cumming, the only witness to Tricky Rodent's drug case, Dark surprisingly shot him in the chest and pulled him down on the floor. I'm going to need a hacksaw. The following takes place between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. Website, Jigman's Village. Profile, Dark. Tab, Visitor Messages. Are you alive? What's going on, Dark? Where are you? Dark? Are you there? Hippinator just said some things about you. Please respond. You didn't kill Z Shadow, did you? I say, what the fuck? Now who do you can next? Why did Legisperitus just promote you? Answer me for fuck's sake. Why the fuck are you mad? Guys, he isn't reading any of your messages. Look, it says his last activity was 24th September 2012. I don't think he's coming back. Are you back for real? Were you too fast for Z Shadow? Pats, please. Are you really back? Are you all fucking retarded? Ha. Remember me? I don't know who you are, but you should go to prison immediately and permanently. Dark? Did you really kill Z Shadow in real life? You should have shot Jimin instead, so you could prevent Jimin from releasing a game that will forever be inferior to his predecessor, Platform Riffin 2. What are you doing? So, how are you? Dark, are you okay? Wherever you are, I hope you're doing something nice. I don't think you killed anyone. 120901. Dark and Legisperitus were in Z Shadow's van on the parking lot outside the police station where Tricky Rodent was currently being held. Dark was in the process of explaining the plan to break her out. Okay, tell me the plan. What are we going to do? You're going to break her out of there. What? You heard me. Is that even possible? Yes, and you're going to do it. Me? Aren't you coming with me? Nope. Why can't you do it? Because everyone in this conspiracy knows who I am. Tricky Rodent probably knows what I look like. You're the one who needs to gain her trust and find that hard drive. Okay, I get it. So what's the purpose of the... Yes? Legisperitus was looking at a black leather bag on top of the dashboard. Well, there's no way in hell I'm carrying that! You have to. You might not gain her trust otherwise. Ugh, fine. Look, you should stay at Jigman's house while I'm doing this undercover thing. I'm not sure if they'll accept me. Just a few hours ago, they thought I killed Z Shadow. Python seems to be pretty open-minded. I don't think it's such a good idea to be chatting with him. Anything you say to him, he will share with the others. What if him or Hipponator are part of this conspiracy? I've known Python for many years. I couldn't possibly imagine him to be a murderer, let alone a traitor to our website. What about Hipponator? He wasn't even a forum mod at the time you went dark in 2012. Didn't you say the threat came from someone within the JV staff? There is always a possibility. He was still a game mod at the time. Yes, it's possible. But I don't think we have another choice here. Something tells me we're going to need their help here. You're probably right. All right, I'll go there afterwards. Thanks. Well, good luck. I'll be gone by the time you get back. How will you get to Jigman's house? Don't worry, I'll steal one of the cars on the parking lot across the street. I know how to hotwire. But that's illegal. You're about to break someone out of a police station, and you're talking to me about illegality? Good point. Saving PR4 is more important than the law. Yeah, you better hurry out now. Legisperitus went out of the van and approached the police station. When he had gotten inside, he went to the restroom. He saw a police officer at the urinal. As soon as the police officer was done doing his business, Legisperitus knocked him out from behind and dragged him into one of the toilet rooms. Legisperitus stripped his uniform and took it on. Then he taped the police officer to the toilet seat with a duct tape roll he conveniently had in his back pocket. He walked out of the toilet room and pulled the fire alarm on the wall. 
he peeked outside the restroom door and saw police officers evacuating the building. They were bringing the detainees in handcuffs out on the parking lot. Legispiritus walked out of the restroom and walked down to the parking lot while impersonating an officer. When all the detainees had been brought out of the parking lot, there was only one female detainee. I guess that must be tricky, Rodent. After several minutes, the fire department arrived. They searched the entire building, but they couldn't find any fire. 12.33.10 After 15 minutes of waiting, the police department was finished going through the police station and deemed it a false alarm. The police officers went back in and brought the detainees with them. Legisperitus walked up to the officer who had custody of Tricky Rodent. Hold on, officer. I need to speak to this woman for a second. The officer consented. All right. Just bring her back inside as soon as you can. He walked back into the police station. Legisperitus held Tricky Rodent by the arm and waited until everyone else had gone back into the building. Are you Tricky Rodent from Congregate? Yes, I am. Who are you? I'm getting you out of here. Huh? Who are you? There's no time to explain. He found a handcuff key in the pocket of on the uniform he was wearing and uncuffed her. Get in the van, now! 1237.09 Game, Platform Racing 2. Server, Daron. Chat room, Main. Hello. Hi, Dag. Hey there, Prokin Dag. Yay, it's V. Congratulations on Hero of the Week. Thanks. You've made it pretty far, V. If someone told me last year that you'd be a hero, I'd probably laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, you're part of the village again, despite our past. Thanks, I really appreciate that. I also voted for you. Really? I never see that coming. I guess I must have really improved myself. Ha <laughs> ha! You have. We don't hold anything against you anymore. Hey there! Congratulations, V for V! Thanks. You should make a welcoming thread in Hero Speak. I'm actually writing one as we speak. Great. Two, 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 two. Our camel has given to one warning. They have been banned from the chat for 15 seconds. Hi. Hey there, Okana. And congrats, V. I also voted for you. I never think someone would go from so hated to so loved by the JV community. The village is pretty forgiving. Haha, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Haha, <laughs> thanks everyone. I've submitted my welcoming thread now. I know, I'm reading it. 1242. Website, Jigman's Village. Section, Hero Speak. Thread, I suppose I should make an official welcoming thread. I never thought I would make an accomplishment like this. Ha <laughs> ha! During these years, I've went from being the most hated person on JC to becoming Hero of the Week. I am truly astonished. I hope you will all give me a warm welcome here in Hero's Peak, as I am really looking forward to it. You have really changed. Welcome. Welcome. When you first came back to JV, no one here wanted you back. During these past years, you have proven that you have indeed changed, and I think you becoming a hero symbolizes that we've put our difficult past beside us. Welcome back to the village, V for Vendetta, and welcome to Hero's Peak. 1246-31 Dark parked his newly obtained Ferrari outside Jigman's house. He walked up to the front porch and rang the doorbell. A few seconds later, Light Princess opened the door. When Dark saw her face, he became red like a tomato. Princess? For a brief moment, they were both at a loss for words. After a few seconds of staring at each other, they gave each other a long, warm hug. It's great to see you again, Dark. It's been way too long. I thought something horrible had happened to you. I'm sorry I had deceived you. All oh, those years. I couldn't tell you I was alive. I'd have to put you in danger. I know, I know. You don't have to apologize for anything. I can't believe you're really here. A Silva didn't tell me that you were staying at Jigman's. Come in, we have coffee. They both walked in together. Dirk was surprised to see the state of the house. Everything was a mess. There were tables flipped upside down, bookshelves torn down, broken glass on the floor, and much more. They met Jigman, Python, and Hippinator in the living room. Who the hell are you? Uh, well, I'm Dark. The guy who killed Z-Shadow? 
You son of a... What? No! Come here, you little bastard. I'll rip your head off. Calm the fuck down, Jigman. Have you even listened to a word of what I said? Do you have short-term memory loss or something? Uh... Allow me, Python. Dark was framed for the assassination of Z Shadow so the police would hunt down Dark, making it easier for the Congregate staff in the conspiracy to find him. Oh, I see. I remember now. Yes. Okay, thanks. How have you been? Where's Legisperitus? Legisperitus is currently with Tricky Rodents, the community manager of Congregate. She was arrested for possession of marijuana. And he just broke her out of the police station. He's trying to gain her trust so he can find out more about the conspiracy. I see. Do you believe she's involved? I honestly have no idea. The only reason we know about her is because Z Shadow did research on her before he died. We went through his computer and saw he had written down Tricky Rodent being arrested for possession. We don't know what it means, and we were attacked by Congregate members before we were able to find out more. That's pretty weak. I know, but it's the only leave we had. So, uh, this house looks pretty shitty at the moment. Yeah, someone has been here. Before we came back at nine o'clock this morning, after the police was finished searching your house, someone broke in here. They stole my hard drive with Platform Racing 4 on it. Don't you have any backup copies at all? No. Why in the world would you do that? Have an entire game stored on a single hard drive. What the hell were you thinking? I don't think. 13 o'clock. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. This is Justin Bob 100 signing out. Hey there! Congratulations, V for V!